Okay, welcome. We're gonna solve another constraint equation based on pulleys, but this is going to be a little bit more involved problem. So we're gonna bring our elevator back and you know what that means. I'm pretty sure by now you hate elevators because now there's a pulley that has been stuck somewhere, somewhere like this, you can imagine somewhere this way, to the elevator, okay? and you have a massless string that goes over the pulley and the pulley is massless and everything almost all the conditions that we just discussed earlier is going to hold good and uh, this time i'm going to take some values otherwise we're just going to get some ridiculously big equations let's say this guy is two kilograms and this guy is um, four kilograms okay and imagine the whole accelerator is accelerating up with an acceleration of uh, <laughs> the elevator is accelerating up at uh, let's say g by 2 for some reason I like g by 2 okay now the questions are a first question would be what's the tension in the string B I want to figure out the acceleration a1 sorry acceleration of this block I'm going to call this as block 2 and block 4 okay, because of their masses. So I want to calculate what is the acceleration of block 2 with respect to the elevator. That means from the non-inertia reference frame. I also want to calculate what the acceleration of block 4 is with respect to the elevator. And then eventually I want to calculate what is the true acceleration of A2 and what's the true acceleration of A4. So it's a pretty involved problem now. Okay. So it involves everything that we learned. Okay, since we are asked to calculate the tension and these guys, our first step would be to go inside the elevator, treat it uh, inside the non-inertia reference frame, treat it as if it's at rest and work it out. Let's do that first. So we are now inside the elevator. So inside elevator. Inside elevator, I, I can just think that the elevator is at rest and the only thing that I have to do now is introduce fake gravity and the fake gravity would be downwards. Okay, so here are the blocks. This is going to be 2 kg block. This is 4 kg block. And our gravity is going to be 3 g by 2. I hope you understand that. Okay, gravity, the new gravity is 3g by 2 we've been doing that for quite a while now so here there's going to be a gravitational force of uh, 3g 2 times 3g by 2 2 2 cancels and here I'm going to have 6g correct because 3 times 4 6g and there's going to be tension over here T there's gonna be tension here and we have constraint equations so you know what I will do I will not solve this again this is this is similar to what we did before so I'm just gonna use the previous formula that we derived you can derive it say I'm just gonna plug in numbers my main goal is to figure out acceleration from outside okay so here are the previous values I'm gonna use this equation m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 and I'm gonna use this equation to calculate it okay So you have acceleration as m1 minus m2. Since I know now that this is going to go down, it's going to go up, I'm just going to calculate the magnitude of the acceleration. So m2 minus m1, 2, divided by m1 plus m2, that's going to be 6, into g. g is uh, 3g by 2. So this cancels, and I end up with g by 2. Therefore, this guy accelerates down with an acceleration of g by 2 and this guy accelerates up with an acceleration of g by 2 now let's be a little bit careful i'm going to treat up as positive and i want you i want your attention now i'm going to treat up as positive so the acceleration of block 2 is plus g by 2 and the acceleration of block 4 is minus g by 2 and this is with respect to the elevator. What I want to do now 
is go outside the elevator and calculate what the true accelerations are. These are not the true, these are relative accelerations. So what's the true acceleration? So I'm going to go now to the inertial reference frame. So I'm going to look at the situation from outside the elevator. When I'm outside the elevator, I remember that the whole pulley and everything, the whole system is accelerating upwards. The elevator itself is accelerating upwards. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say the acceleration of block 2 with respect to the elevator must be equal to the acceleration of the block 2 minus the acceleration of the elevator. This is with respect to our reference frame. So this is the true acceleration that we want. Therefore, acceleration, true acceleration becomes acceleration with respect to the elevator plus the acceleration of the elevator. Now what is the acceleration of block 2 with respect to the elevator? It's over here, that is g by 2. And acceleration of the elevator is also positive, so it's an additional g by 2. That gives me g. So we have found our first answer, the acceleration of block 2 is g. Positive g, so it's up. Okay, now let's calculate what the acceleration is of the second block. We'll do the same equation. Acceleration of block 4 with respect to elevator is acceleration of block 4 minus acceleration of the elevator. And therefore, acceleration of the block 4 turns out to be... This is minus g by 2 plus ae and uh, a is plus g by 2. Ooh, interesting. And you get the answer as zero. This is really interesting. So A4 is zero. What's going on? Well, when you look from outside, see, when you look from inside, this guy is going up at G by 2 and this guy is going down by G by 2. But from outside, you remember that the whole elevator itself is going up, accelerating up by G by 2. The two accelerations cancel out and it appears as if this block 4 is at rest from the inertial point of view. That's amazing. I didn't even predict that. And block 2 has an acceleration g upwards. Now you may be wondering, well what happened to our constraint equation? What happened to the fact that the length of the string has to remain a constant? Doesn't x plus y have to remain a constant? That means, well all bits are off now and the reason for that is because this 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 particular elevator is accelerating. You can only say x plus y is a constant provided the pulley is not moving. If the pulley itself is moving, then the positions and everything will keep changing. So then you can't say x plus y has to be a constant. Okay? So from outside the elevator, x plus y need not be the length of the string. I mean, the length of the string will be a constant, but since the pulley is, the two accelerations need not be same in magnitude. But from inside, they have to be. So this is a, it's a wonderful example of Understanding how to jump from a non-inertial reference frame back to an inertial reference frame and figuring out true accelerations. We will be doing this quite a lot, probably in the future. See you next time.